Hi, Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep Stitching, episode 347. 300 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 is 347, because math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, people. And we are back. Yes, ma'am. Thank you to everybody who gave us some time off during our, uh, I mean, no one really gave it to us. We just took it. <laughs> we did. We just took it. And thank you for letting us take it. Just took it. Uh, two StitchCon weekends and a birthday baseball weekend. Yep. And we are back. It has yes. been quite a month. Mm -hmm. Here we are in the last day of June, 2024. Can you imagine, I was thinking about this earlier, can you imagine just doing one a month? Oh, I really can't. I really can't. No. But if that is your pattern, no judgy, I mean, judgy. Have a great time with it. But the piles, the yeah. piles are piling. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, my and especially goodness. of course with this month and with yeah. two retreats sure, sure. and sure. All the things. everything. Um, I am officially 69 years old. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. Thank Woo! you most sincerely for all the birthday, uh, wishes. good wishes and, um, cards and so forth. Yeah. Um, it was a biggie. I don't feel 69. Mm -mm. Um, although there Still are... Still feeling 68, huh? <laughs> <laughs> although there are days when I feel 79. Oh. But um, anyway, I don't know how it happened. It just happens. Yep. Anyway, but thank you for all the birthday wishes. Um, yep. We are uh, in our 70th year. Yes, we are. 70th well, she is. I am not. Trip around the sun. Yep. We'll give you all the details and about how we celebrated later in the video. Yeah. Okay. Um, but we uh, were part of the StitchCon team. Steph yes. is an employee, me as a volunteer mm -hmm. for StitchCon 2024, mm -hmm. weekend A and weekend B consecutively. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we are going to talk about that mostly at the end. Yes. But suffice it to say, I can't. I can't imagine it going any better. Oh, yeah. I can't imagine it going any better. Yeah, it was um, easily one of the best years yet. Yes. In yes, my opinion. Yes. And like I said, we're going to talk about that later. Yeah. There are a slew of recap videos for yes. those floss tubers who were in attendance. Yes. And after watching the ones that I have had the time to watch, mm -hmm. people that... I really didn't interact with much at all, basically had the time of their lives Correct. and you couldn't ask for anything more. Right. Um, That's what we hope and dream probably. The cats are doing some kind of They're playing, so. triathlon, getting yep, ready for the Olympics. Cat Olympics apparently. So um, I have no doubt that you'll see you'll, at you'll least see, one of them. You'll see at least one. Yep. I'm still dealing but with. But they're messing with each other. So this hair situation. All right. Anyway. Uh, so that is what our June was all about. Yep. And again, we appreciate the time. We kind of feel rejuvenated, ready to tackle the rest of 2024. Yes, ma'am. Um, you want to do this? Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. So, so the first thing we want to, um, we really didn't know where to put it. Yeah. It so we're going to put it right at the front. Why not? Um, our good friend, um, Katie, Katie Clark, mm -hmm. who is, um, relatively close by, mm -hmm. uh, has returned through her Etsy shop, which is the Naptime Stitcher, mm -hmm. uh, with a wonderful, wonderful collaborative stitching activity mm -hmm. relating to the Summer Olympics. And it's called Stitch the Summer Olympics. Mm -hmm. uh, look for the Naptime Stitcher on Etsy. She's produced this fabulous chart that starts on the 26th of yes. July, which is the opening ceremony, which day. gives you plenty of advanced time. And each day until the 11th of August, yep. from the opening ceremony to the closing ceremony, I love it. There is a thematic stitching prompt. Correct. For example, yeah, like on the 30th of July, the theme is swimming. Stitch something with water. On the 5th of August, gymnastics, stitch something choreographed by your favorite designer. Right. The 10th of August, modern 
pentathlon so it's something that's part of a series so like for all, this is every doable, day people. and so i this was a question i had i am assuming the answer is yes but the 26th is obviously the opening ceremony day and the 11th of august is closing ceremony so there's one thing for every single day of the olympics uh, that's what it looks like to me okay I'm looking at the dates yeah, yeah, yeah. there's no skipped days or anything like that i don't that. think so so it's like there's some of them like there's an opening ceremony prompt new start or something you started in 2024 yeah. all the way to closing ceremony which is stitch something you plan to complete in 2024 yeah and then the hashtag is st hashtag stitch the summer olympics right we are in we love the summer olympics yeah um i we mean love we love the, the olympics, olympics in general but i think we have a i was literally just gonna say we love to talk we love the olympics in general <laughs> that have been weird brain yeah brain fuse um, so we're super pumped about this but especially the summer yes yes um, i'm a gymnastics yeah obsessed person yeah so, so it's gonna be really anyway, really great um we want to encourage you to go over and um yes and get that yes. on etsy print it off have it ready probably this week we are going to get into our whip box yep. and assign different ones of our whips yeah i don't think we're going to have new starts for it um unless we get really desperate but uh really desperate well i mean if nothing fits in your whips but I'm going to make it fit. We're going to uh, stretch like those athletes. Yeah. Um, and we'll probably post, you know, each oh, for day sure. yeah, under yeah. that hashtag uh, what we're going to stitch yeah, on. And absolutely. it doesn't have to be the whole day's, no. you know, project. It can be yeah. part of the day. It can be during the time you're actually watching, maybe in the evening after work. Yeah, yeah. You know, whatever. Just something fun. And we thought that so, was really cool. So, uh, we creative. love Katie. She's one of our faves. Yes. And um, don't lose this. We wanted we to, to put that, that at the front of our show today. Yes, absolutely. All right. So, there you go. Next is a hashtag. We got a hashtag. We do. So, our hashtag here at Just Keep Stitching is hashtag Stitch Harmony. Um, and so, what Stitch Harmony is, is basically connecting stitchers together. So if you are someone who does not have a local stitching friend or a group or whatever that is easily in your area, your neighborhood, your town, your city, your within driving distance, what have you, um, and you are looking for someone, then um, we can utilize our broad audience and see if we can find someone that will fit your needs. Um, and so we heard so many lovely, lovely stories from people at StitchCon of Stitch Harmony, Stitch Harmony, Stitch Harmony, Stitch Harmony. And it, like, it just, I loved it. So yeah. um, it works if you work it. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, it's not, a, nothing is perfect in this world, right? So it doesn't always work out. But what's the worst that could happen? Yeah. All you got to do is try. So yeah. if you are in that category of someone who is looking for a sitting friend local to you, then comment on our video, tell us your name, where you live, use the hashtag Stitch Harmony at the front end so we see it, and then we pick one of those comments every week. So this comment was from our last video, and our last video was the Sunday before Weekend A. Right. About three weeks ago. So it's a little dated, but, but. we're trying to catch up. Right. So, so who is this week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter, Pamela? This week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is, I think her name is Christina. Yep. Uh, she is at Chrissy Lee Glass 8174. Excellent. And this is what she wrote. Okay. Hashtag Stitch Harmony. Hello. My name is Christina. I am a middle-aged lady with a big stitchy staff. Love it. Staff or stash? Stash, I meant to say. Sorry. I love to do many crafts, but my heart is cross-stitch. Oh, I am a bit of an introvert, but do try and put myself out there. I look for places to cross-stitch. An LNS shop in Myrtle Beach mm -hmm. is one I have been to, but find that they are mostly filled with groups of people that all know each other. Got it. And we're going to address that issue relating to StitchCon later on. Are we? And there is nothing wrong with that, but because I'm shy, I just sit and listen and keep stitching away. Got it. I would love to meet some ladies that are kind of in the same sailboat mm -hmm. and would like to meet and enjoy each other's company and stitch. I live 
in Youngsville, North Carolina, near Wake Forest and Raleigh. There are no oh. LNS shops in my area, but there sure are a lot of Starbucks and pastry shops around. We love a pastry. Hope to hear from you soon. Excellent. All right. So, so um, I love this comment. I do too. So, I don't know what you were going to say about the groups. And I understand, like, you know, she well, said she was Well, I was, was just going to talk about something new that we did at Stitch oh, Con sure, sure, sure. that helps folks, stitchers yeah, like yeah, Christina. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And it was praise to the hilts that we did it. Okay, cool. All That's right. All. So, let me show you Youngsville. where... Youngsville, North Carolina. There's also a Youngsville, Ohio, Louisiana, Pennsylvania, and New York. Fun fact. So, Youngsville is haunted forest at Panic Point. Yikes. Ooh, it's like a like a haunted house. Anyway, okay, sorry. I got that was just a strange title. Um, okay. Oh, there's Wake Forest. Okay. And and Raleigh. Okay. So let me just start with North Carolina. Let me take the roads off. Hold, please. Yeah. Otherwise it gets really crowded and overwhelming. So that's North Carolina right here. Okay. So then you zoom right in to Raleigh. Okay. So there's, sorry about the glare, there's Raleigh down there, and then there's Wake Forest, and the little, see where it says Haunted Forest at Panic Point, that is in the same neighborhood as Youngsville. So, from, from Wake Forest, it is literally seven minutes from Wake Forest. And then from Raleigh, it is 35 minutes. So, I mean, we can meet halfway. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, if your ears perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Youngsville, North Carolina, and you have room in your stitching group or are also looking for a stitching friend, then please comment on this video and say, Hi, Christina. My name is, insert name here, I live in around nearby within driving distance of Youngsville, North Carolina, and I would love to stitch with you. And that is up to you, Miss Christina, to read through the comments and uh, see if anyone has reached out to you and go from there. That's right. Okay? So, Youngsville, Youngsville. Stitchers, Stitchers, Unite. Unite. Love that. All right. Okay. And uh, we hope... Uh, since you left that comment three weeks ago, Christina, that you did come back and watch this episode and are yeah, able to do that. Yeah, not give up on us. Don't. I'm going to tag her in the oh, box yeah. anyway. So. That's true. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> you remember what that means. That means it's time for Pam's Pin Comment. Yep. And Pam's Pin Comment is the one comment of all the comments after our last video that, you know, tickled my fancy. Yep. And this comes to us from... A gal who goes by Maple Nut Designs. Love it. And she wrote, My boyfriend wanted to get tickets for the Reds v. Red Sox. And my first thought was, I wonder if Pam and Steph will be there. We were. Got tickets for Friday. Fireworks Friday is my favorite. Have a great birthday weekend, Pam. Well, we were there, we were Maple there. Nut Designs, yes. on Friday night. We stayed for the fireworks. Yep. Even though we lost that night, but I don't, I can't tell from this comment if you're a Red Sox or a Reds fan. So if you're a Reds fan, congratulations. If you're a Red Sox fan, sorry about your luck. Right, and when, then we, um, of course, went back and won the second and third games of the series. <laughs> so thank you very much for um, being a baseball as enthusiast. Well as, yeah, a baseball enthusiast. Yes, and um, there were a couple people at. Um, um, at the games that we knew from like comments and stuff. Oh right, right, right. We didn't see anyone in person no, that we knew. It was it's far to too crowded. People, but but, uh, uh, but yeah, so that was pretty fun. Yeah. And uh, okay. All right. Um, Ready? Moving right along. Moving right along. 
That means it's time for Silver and Gold. Sure Silver does. and Gold is our shout out segment to other Floss Tube channels that we would like you to check out. Yes. See if they are uh, doing things that interest you yeah. and um, give them some love. Yes. So, Silver, uh, based on the old Girl Scout song about making new friends, is our relatively new Floss Tuber. And. Um, Gold is one who's been around a little bit longer. Yes. So our silver floss tuber this week is our friend Kara at Granite State Stitchers. And Oh, Kara, I love Kara. Kara was at StitchCon. Yep, she met sure her was. from the first time. We can be, yeah. The uh yeah. the lady drove from New Hampshire to Cincinnati. I know, right? To and from. She's a trooper. I told her I used to do I that. I mean, it's a great drive. It is a great if you're drive. Into it. And um, I used to do it. I no longer do it, but I used to do it. So it's quite familiar. Kara and I had a wonderful chat at StitchCon because even though she lives in New Hampshire now, mm -hmm. she used to live in Maine and she actually was naming streets and families in South Portland. It was insane to watch. I just wanted everyone to know. I would mention somebody, and she would say, "Oh, you know, you know the so and sos." Like not just streets, okay? There's little people. Families. We knew the same mutual families. It, it was, was amazing. It was so cool. So anyway, uh, Kara's channel is Granite State Stitchers because when she started, she was doing it with her granddaughter Allie. Okay. And um, Allie does not always appear. I think because of school and other sure. things. You know, she can't commit yeah. to being there every time. So of that's course. why it's plural. Makes sense. But Kara has uh, been doing floss tubes for about a year. Yep. July 2023, she started. Perfect. She's made 17 videos. Yeah. She has a very calming presence. Um, and, and her accent is just like so, like, it's definitely there, but it's just yeah. so lovely to listen to. Yes. So go give Kara some love. She is at Granite State Stitchers yes. on Floss Tube. We love her very much, and she was such a pleasure to me. She was. She was. She's just a dear. So anyway, uh, that's our silver. Yes. Our gold Floss Tube shout-out is our good friend Athena. Yes. At Stitching Goddess Designs. And... Um, you might have heard of her from obviously from her foster channel, right. but she also has a pretty amazing yes. cross stitch t shirt business. Yes. And yes. it's so good. Yes. Um all the stitchy t shirts. Athena was also at StitchCon. Yep. And um see what we can air we can be. I will mention her later in another context. Yes. I think it was A. a I think so too. Yes, because it was the same as yes. Yes. Okay, yes. great. Perfect. Um Athena, uh, you may know of through prior affiliations as well, mm -hmm. um, but she really kind of went off her on her own in January of 2021, yep. in regards to floss tube anyway. Yeah. And uh, it's she, been really fun to watch. She has been make she has made 139 videos. Heck yeah. Um, she has a great personality, um, a little bit quirky. Um, oh, yeah. And uh, just love her. Yeah. Just love her to pieces. Yes. Uh, so even though she's been around a lot um, and knows a lot of people in the cross-stitch community, yeah. we know that he, she would appreciate some new viewership. Absolutely. And um, again, we'll mention her um, t-shirt design uh, business because she is collaborating with our friend Katie Clark. Yeah, we already talked about the and Olympic thing. So do you want to just mention? Yeah, yeah. so um, let me just insert yeah. that she is making shirts and mm -hmm. they, she will customize them to your, uh, say, stitching event. Mm -hmm. And she's designed the logo. It's darling. We'll put a link below. Yeah, um, to her website, right? Yes. And... Um, okay, so... She's basically doing like a you pick your design for right. the cross stitch Olympics, right? Uh, it says Stitch of Summer Olympics, and then there's like a list of all these different events, and you can pick which um, event you want your gold medal yeah, in. The shirts go on sale tomorrow, and um, you can let her know how you want them customized. So like, it's such a cool idea, it's so cool, it's just a great collab. Yeah, um, 
we've talked about ideas we want for our shirts yep. and we'll so make good. sure that we get our orders in for Absolutely. sure tomorrow to yep. Athena. Um, so those, so are, those our two. are silver and golds. Head on over to see Kara and Athena. Yes, please do. All right, let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. What have you been stitching on in the last three weeks, Stephanie? Well, well, if I'm being honest, I think I have not everything, but I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's um, been a little. Just nuts. gonna be honest. Okay, so we're just gonna start from here and move forward. All right. So um, first things first, I did have a stitch con start. Um, believe it or not. Um, I didn't start it until weekend B, so, because I just literally would go to the late night room and I would just sit and chat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you do. Oh, so, anyway, so, that's where that went. Um, okay. Do I really know that? Hold, please. Where would it be? All right, sorry. I had, the uh, pattern was over in the project bag. Shocker. <laughs> so anyway, so um, if you know anything about me or this channel, then you know that I am a humongous Wizard of Oz fan. This is not news, okay? Um, and I am in, I have this sort of idea. So Pam had just gotten the big Wizard of Oz thing framed. And obviously we're not just going to like put that somewhere and not put it up on the wall. And so there is a loft up here, which is like, the second floor which is where my bedroom and bathroom is and so there's a big wall of the loft excuse me that I think we're gonna make like the Wizard of Oz wall or what have you yeah so I have a bunch of other Wizard of Oz cross stitch that both I've done or Pam has done for me or I've gotten from friends etc etc and so that little idea coupled with the fact that on Thanksgiving the Wicked movie is coming out I can't wait. Oh, I'm so excited. Every single time I watch a trailer, I cry. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, those two things coupled together sort of inspired me to do a start in honor of that. And then also right. for StitchCon, blah, blah, blah. Anyway. So, uh, the one that I chose is by Carolyn Manning. And it is from her Fairy Tale and Fable collection. This is about as full coverage as I will get. I'm not interested in doing like a heaven and earth designs or any of that. I mean, no shade to people that do. It's just not my vibe. Okay. But this is so fun. So this is called Look Behind the Curtain. Oh man, is that going to be neat when it's done? Yes. It's so cool. It's all DMC. It is. It's just cool. So it's got the green from the Emerald City and the, it's just so good. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. So, um, I... I'm stitching this on 36 count. I'll show you the fabric in a second. And I started in the top left. So, the, the fabric is 36 count linen in Eucalyptus by Atomic Ranch. So, as you will see, Eucalyptus is like a green color. Um, whoa. And so, I knew that... Um, because I wanted to stitch on 36 count, so, um, with one thread, and if there was a, a chance that the fabric was going to show through, I wanted it to be green. I did not want it to be white or antique white Smart. or whatever. Smart. I wanted it to match the vibe, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And so, anyway, so this is what I have started. gonna be so cool yeah yeah whoa so I really really like it it is fun it's like very mindless stitching for sure um and well, you've got yeah. to be counting even though it's mindless but well it's geometric oh so I know but still, a lot of things are mirror image if you get one off then then you're effed you're you know <laughs> you are totally effed so um so it's basically like I've been sort of playing this game in my head this is I'm insane but this is what I've been doing which is like okay so I'm gonna stitch with this color thread till I run out and then you know 
whatever. Anyway, I'm crazy, so it's fine. So, um, I still have a needle, <laughs> so I need to finish that up. But this has been really fun, and so, I mean, I have no... I'm not an idiot. I realize that I probably will not finish it in time for the premiere, but I wanted to get it started nonetheless, yeah. and so I did. Oh, do you want to put these in? Uh, these were? Maybe yeah. they were in your project. Though. They were. Oop. No, they got attached to the magnet cables. Oh, gotcha. So, um, because mm -hmm. I'm trying to get in the habit of keeping a pair of scissors with my current projects. So I don't have to keep looking for them. So that is Look Behind the Curtain by Carolyn Manning. Great. And then I had a birthday start for Pam. So um, I have not done a birthday start for myself or for Pam in years. Right. Um, but we went all out this year for her birthday. It was like, I don't want anyone to get it twisted. It wasn't just a gift for Pam. Okay. Well, I love the Red Sox probably a little bit more than Pam loves the Red Sox. Like, I know all the stats, all the things, whatever, whatever. It's very much a thing we do together. We watch every single game, obviously. And we are not fair weather fans. No, ma'am. Okay. We are not. So. We don't want to hear about the Padres. Thank you so much. Anyway. No. No. So, um, so, la the last weekend was obviously, number one, a gift to Pam for her birthday, but. Aside from cross-stitch and floss tube, our thing together is baseball. And so, and the Red Sox more specifically. So, I was not about to miss an opportunity to celebrate that. So, like, all the stars aligned. Like, it literally could not have worked out more perfect for the Red Sox to be in town. Number one, the weekend after StitchCon. And thank goodness it wasn't one of the StitchCon weekends or I would have been dead owed. And then... You would have been what? Devo, devastated. Oh, okay. Uh, and that it was like over her birthday. It was just everything worked out really, yeah. really well. Yeah. So it just felt like too perfect to not commemorate with a cross stitch piece, right? So um, I had two baseball themed Mill Hill kits that I had in my stash that I wanted to start at some point. Um, one is one of the smaller like magnet like kits and the other was a larger one that you put in one of their frames. And so I decided to go with the larger one and this is, um, I don't know what year it is. Yep. 2012. Um, their button buttons and beads co collection, the spring series called home run. It's quite detailed. It's quite detailed, yeah. Like, so it's got the words home run here. There's beads throughout that. It says baseball down here. Every other stitch is a bead. It's got uh, strike here. Every other stitch is a bead. Play ball. Every other stitch. Like, there's a lot happening. The mitt down here, obviously there's a big old button, big baseball button in the middle, but a bunch of backstitch. Like, it's quite detail but it's so fun yeah so I'm using everything um, in the kit uh, the perforated paper the threads and obviously the beads when I get to that point and um, huge shout out to my girls Katie and Melissa of the crockpot crew because they helped me at one night during weekend a in the late night room organize all the floss and God bless them for that okay so um, this, sorry, I literally still have a needle in it, so that's fine too. Um, so that is what I have. You've actually, oh, you've got the catcher's mitt done, don't yeah, you? Yeah, the glow is totally done. <coughs> yeah. And then the bat is actually, obviously not done like when I say done, I mean the cross stitch is done. The, the beads are not on there yet. Yeah. Um, but the bat is done. This is the bat because the top of the bat is beads. And then, so these are, that looks actually really good. It does um, look great. Yeah. So these are like the stands in the background and little people's heads and stuff. And then 
there's this section, then the batter is like standing here. And then there's another section up yeah. here of so the that's bleachers. His arm extending the bat. Out. Yep, it sure yeah. is. Yep. And then this is the batter's hair. But it was go. in the same color, so I just mm -hmm. So I do like kind of a mixture of like color completion and whatever. Like that looks good. Um, so my um, plan, not a hard word to think of, Stephanie. Uh, my plan is to stitch on this mail hill whenever I am. Whenever we're watching a ball game, we watch a lot of ball games. I mean, there's one. There's 162 games. So, and we are at game number like 85. I think we're halfway through the season just about. So, yeah. So, um, it's really fun. And then um, I'm just going to leave this little nugget of information here. I will share more later. But in about a month, I will be seeing the Red Sox play again. Another three-game series. Not in Cincinnati. So, that is very exciting. Um, and so, the other Mill Hill, the smaller one. I think I have it. Yep which is this one that's cute too yeah yeah this one i will start when i go see them play next so uh this summer i get to see six games which is just wild, wild. so wild. um like last year we saw zero so yeah um anyway so that was my birthday start for pam and i started that in the hotel that we stayed at last saturday night downtown mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. That's what's happening with me, but this is a good opportunity for you to pause the video, go get a drink, take a bathroom break, because Pam is about to talk about her whips. <laughs> so, that's what I've been doing in my life. What have you been doing with yours, Pamela? Okay. Okay, so, um, I'll talk about... Your whips now. That's, my whips now. That's what happens after so, I talk about and mine. I might as well start with this one. Mm -hmm. Um... This was my birthday start. Uh, clearly, it had to be baseball themed. And Obviously. this is from Little House Needleworks, and it's called Batter Up. And it's so cute, isn't it? And oh, what score are you going to put there? I don't think I'm going to change it because I think that would be too difficult. Seriously? Yeah. I think you should change it to the. Uh, I thought of it, and then she doesn't give you any other numbers, so... I'll, I'll reach out for you. Well, I'm almost... Well, we'll see. Whatever, Pam. Um, I'm stitching it on 32 count uh, vintage pecan butter from Lakeside. Yep. And uh, I guess I will just fold it over. Sure. So this is as much as I got. What green is that? What green is it? It is a Weeks, and it is monkey grass. So good. Yeah, isn't it? It's so good. It isn't all the called for it, as far as I Yep, that's great. Know. Great. Yep. Two over two, yeah. Two over two on 32. I love that for you. Yep. Awesome. I got you. Okay. Next. Next. Um, I have quite a few now. I've been very very fortunate and very very thankful um we do have a just keep stitching unicorn account on instagram mm -hmm. where we um uh, post pictures of unicorn charts to be honest they're primarily mine oh, yeah. um, that i would like to stitch and would appreciate a loan and sure. um i say that with the um, caveat that I have plenty <laughs> right now. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, that's I mean, true. even if you look at that account and you say, oh, I'll lend Pam such and such, yeah, no rush because I have plenty. Yeah, for sure. One of them that uh, has been lent to me is a birds of a feather called Poor Jack. Whoops, sorry for the glare. The picture actually, even if there was no glare, would be um, not very good. Yeah. But it's really cool looking. So, after I think the last unicorn chart, which was Voodoo Boy, that mm -hmm. I finished, um, this was one that mm. I wanted to get going on. Mm. I'm stitching it on the 32 count Birds of a Feather Sparrow, which is the call for, and I... Yep. So good. It's the absolute best fabric to stitch their design on. So, I've been stitching on this for the last few days, 
and um, stitched a little bit on it during StitchCon. Um, but he's really coming to life now, you guys. Yes, he's so cool. So this oh, is... Oh, look at him. This is poor Jack. The words say... Uh, poor, poor Jack. Poor Jack cannot can't, find... Can't, can't fi find hell. hell. Poor Jack. Jack can't find heaven. Yeah. Yep. And it's really kind of the origin of jack-o'-lantern sure is um Look he made a couple room. of bad deals one with the devil and so he was cursed to carry a um a little pumpkin, a little pumpkin with a light inside and it's so, so i mean just look at those symbols like they're so so cool. Yeah, and if you didn't watch our last video um i think i had the pumpkin head done oh, and yeah. It has three different colors in it. Yeah, I'm in sure. the in the stripes of his head. I see the little yellow. I and mean the that head is a masterpiece in and of itself. It's in so terms, thick. It's so <clears> not thick. because I stitched it, but because it's also because you stitched it. No, but how it was designed. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. How so, it was designed. Absolutely, it's fantastic. So, so, um, so that is one oh, of my whips yeah, that, that here that that I'm working oh, on currently. Oh, bad. I'm going to be jumping all around yeah. just because there's no just in a pile. There's so, no point in um, trying to be organized. Trying to be trying to sort, resort things. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Um, I also um, we didn't see them this year, but they've been to StitchCon a couple of times in the past. Um, the mother and daughter team of Notorious Needle. Yeah. And um, floss tube, yeah. Yes, they have a floss mm -hmm. tube, Notorious Needle, and um, they have. Uh, started another sal um i think the first one which i haven't stitched yet is called we believe something like that it was a couple years ago oh yes yes i know what and um the newest one is uh, another sal uh which for me was a start along mm -hmm. um called the vote as if sal and i'll just show you this was part one I'm not giving anything away so, um, what I did was I ordered the called for fabric, mm -hmm. which, um, was from Witch's Garden Crafts on Etsy. It's called Mist, but I'm using the DMC alternatives to the called for threads. And the fabric is really cool. This is on 18 count. Ada. Is it 18 or 16? I think it's 16. Yeah, I think it's 16. Um, 18. They said 18. Okay. Um, okay my bad. Ada. Yeah. It comes all surged from the dyer. Yeah. And I, I'm just at the very beginning. So um, the colors are very cool. Awesome. And you're using two threads on 18, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. For a little bit fuller Because coverage. just like Sarah, I think her name is Sarah, pretty sure. Um, I'm kind of a coverage nut. Yep. Love so, that for you. Um, this is their latest sale. Cool. Um, they are on Gumroad if you want to yeah. um, get more details on all the parts. So that's how they get the pattern. It's not like a website. It's a Gumroad. No, you have to go to Gumroad. Okay. Yep. Great. Well, have, there's a needle right there. Oh, so. boy. Be careful. I'm going to put oh, the... Oh, this goes with that. That's the bag it's in? Yep. That's weird. Well... It just was... Yeah, it's just what you had. I get it. Convenient. Yep. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Okay. I put the needle that was on the front. I put it on the back for you. Okay. Just so um, Diggle Balls wouldn't get his hands on. Right. One of my WIPCO projects for June was a finish. So I'll talk about that Woo. and finishes. And my second WIPCO for June was one of the great um, designs from Belinda at Blue Ribbon Designs, and it's called Winter Wingding. Winter Wingding. Again, sorry for the glare. Winter Wingding. I'm obsessed with this. I saw this. Um, she had like worked on this during the day when I was at work one day last week and then I came home and I had to go in her room for something and it was sitting on the bed. bed. What? Yeah, you had it on the bed and I was like, ah! 
Ugh. It was, oh, it's so good. So I'm stitching this on 32 count opalescent winter sky from Jody at Steel City. And that is just a name that I made up for the fabric. Because, oh. <laughs> because yeah, Jody doesn't name, name her fabric. fabrics. Of course. So I just that makes it sense. But it's very It's opalescent. So I got that part right. Yeah, it is opalescent. And I got to a good stopping point in the Q-snap. And so um, this is where I am with it. Ah! <sighs> Isn't it neat? It's so freaking cute. So it reads horizontally as the alphabet. People ask me about the letters. They don't spell anything. Right. But I'm working sort of... In sections. This is more or less a page finish of it. Yeah. It's very similar. There's a spring one that she's that Pam has stitched. Mm -hmm. Stop and stitch the flowers. Yep, yep, is, yep. Um, well, it's not hanging out there anymore. Usually hung but... at springtime in our house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, oh, this was one that I kitted up for Christmas, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I did a good so job. So I'm using the call for except for three. What? I said, oh, I did a good job. Yeah, you did do a good job. Yeah, this fabric is yeah. fan freaking tastic Yeah. Oh, sorry. You're panning it to me. No. Um, here you go. So that was another one. Handing it to me. <laughs> okay, last whip. Oh, really? Wow. You did so well. well you've had, had so many finishes. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I had a um, scheduled start for my twenty four starts in twenty twenty four hashtag. Yeah, yeah. And this was for Juneteenth. Oh, yeah, that's right. And um, this is called Freedom Train from Prairie Moon. They had a lot of um, designs that had that style of border. And let me tell you. Let me tell you. When I kitted, this was when I kitted up for Pam for Christmas because it's in the 24 and 24, right? When I started pulling the colors, I was literally just like, really? It has every color in the rainbow, I think. Really? I mean, really? Just, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So I got to remember okay. what it's stitched on. Do you remember? Uh, it's 32 count. Mm -hmm. Even we from, I believe, Color and Cotton, it's like Honey Pot or the Honey. Oh, yeah, something Honey. Honey, honey, honey mm. Sweetie Pie Honey Bun. <laughs> wait, wait. Honey Pie Honey Bun. I love that I love you. I wrote it on a freaking piece of paper, Pam. Well, no, it's just gone. is it in there? Well, you know, I don't think so. It's in my Instagram. You know that I love. Do you want me to look it up? Okay. Just show the people and I'll look it up. I'm okay. trying to find... Okay, so I haven't gotten very far because it's Sugar quite dense, but you know that I love you. <laughs> oh, 32 count spiced honey. Spiced honey. From, from Color and Cod. From Color and Cod. Yes. Which is absolutely yummy, and I'm right up in the corner. Right up and in that it. that is a moon, believe it or not. It's a pink moon. It is. But, I mean, the colors are just going to pop on this. It sure is. So that was my Juneteenth. Oh, here. Start. Sorry, I was not available to. I had to. Um, I believe I don't know this to be fair, like as a fact, but I think spiced honey was a color or fabric of the month. Yeah, I, I believe think it was club. I color. believe. However, she has another color in her line called Sampler Gold mm -hmm. that is very very similar. Yeah. So. If you like so. this color, which is great for um, for the whites to show and the darks oh, yeah. to show. Oh yeah, anything um, pops on it. Really. Yeah, that's what it, that's kind of what I was getting at. Okay, right. okay, yeah. um, okay. Hold on, let me pause for a moment. All right, so those are our whips of the month. <laughs> Love that. All right. So then that means it's time for the bell. Correct. Because Pam has just been a cross-stitching maniac. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, can I say something really quickly? Of course. Okay. So I mentioned the color and cotton thing. Mm -hmm. um, and it's my understanding that she currently has fabric pre-orders open on her website for like four colors. Mm -hmm. And I think Sampler Gold is one of them. Oh. So if you want to get your hands on some really fantastic fabric, if I had 
only one fabric that I could stitch on for the rest of my life. Yeah. It would be color and cotton. So, yeah. I'll put the, their website below. There yeah. you go. I didn't know whether that was still open. I remember. I think it was basically know. like it's going to be open until they sell out kind of vibe. Okey but I don't know. So. And I don't remember what this color is either. Fabric. Um, is it in your Instagram? Yep. Well, let me just look. We'll talk about it. Okay, so, you know, I'm doing the monthly marker, um, and I knew buy. that I needed to buy Pine Mountain Designs, um, and I knew that I had to kind of work ahead. Yeah, sure. Because if I had waited until even last week, yeah, I would sure. be rushing, rushing, rushing. Yeah. So, this is July, which I will be using as my background on my Facebook page. Starting uh, tomorrow. Starting in the morning, correct. Yep. And this is July. And this is on 32 count linen from Be Stitch Me in the color One More Reproduction. Yeah. Yeah. So. Here, hold on. It's, um. It's so freaking cute. Yeah. You have the, um, sort of the old fashioned little boy. Here. And the fireworks. Yeah. The flag. It's just. Yeah. Fantastic, obviously. Yeah. Um, so. And yeah. And then this is the same fabric that June was on. June was on. Yeah, so I just used that's the really, other end. Really clever, Pammy. Mm-hmm. I did it. Oh. Thank you. And... Do you um, have a bag for this or no? No. Okay. The bag is in the other In the room. room. Yeah. Okay. Um, Continue. Like I said, my first whip go pull was a unicorn chart lent to me from Primitive Needle. Mm -hmm. And it is called... Let your life speak. Yep. And it was a finish. Yes. So this Can is you another fabric for this too. I'm pretty sure. Okay. That it is. What yep. what do you think it is? Um, it's a fun game. Um oh, can't come up. Thirty two count Olympia. Olympia. Lugana from uh Atomic. Nope. Ooh, shoot. Mystic fabrics. Mystic. Yep. Yep. It's so good. So this is Let Your Life Speak. Let Your Life Speak. And that is what it looks so like. So pretty. I subbed a lot of colors just to you give did? it a little bit more uh, brightness. Yeah, that green is um, really good. And then my favorite part are the symbols at the bottom. Yeah. I just think they're really pretty. Yeah. Do you know what 1899 means? No, I do not. And okay. I... I I'd be curious if anybody does know. Yeah. Um, I think this was one of her last designs. Oh. Someone commented after our last video and said that they did it in memory of Lisa, oh. who tragically was killed in a, a flooded road. Mm. Um, Terrible. Right after um, market market one year. Yep. And um, awful. She, she's gone. She's been gone quite a while, but uh, her family, you know, was not interested in. Doing anything sure. with her design, so they are hard to come by. Too Randy. All right. And then this one is um, the Good Ship Sampler. StitchCon finish. Was finished at StitchCon, and um, this was a sal. This was kind of funny. Last fall at Stitch West, mm -hmm. Debbie and Chris and I, uh, Debbie at from the Spons urging Harbor. of Chris, said, let's do this as a threesome sal. And I thought, wow, I got it made in the shade. I've already started it. Well, wouldn't you know, the other two just sped right past me and finished yeah. it. Yeah. I had converted, the called for were Romy's uh -huh. threads. Yeah. And I converted them all to color and cotton. You sure did, yep. Then I ran out of the color that is the words. Mm. And it's like a major color. Angela didn't have it. One, two, three didn't have it. You know, notify me. Yeah, yeah sure, fine. Um, and I found an Etsy shop mm -hmm. that had it, but I think that because I let it languish too long, yeah. I should have pinged her earlier. I think because it was for one skein of espresso from Coloring Cotton, um, it wasn't until StitchCon A had already started yeah. that it got shipped. Yeah. 
And when it landed on my front porch, I literally drove back here <laughs> yeah. from the convention center, yeah. grabbed it off the front porch, ran back, made sure it was going to match okay, and sat there. In the late night room. Well, and... No, it was no. in the regular stitching room. Yeah, and, that's true. And finished it up. I had stitched everything else, but, yeah. but the rest of the espresso. Right, but this is like, this stitch and, farm was the last time that the three moms... Yeah. Only to find out that we together. all didn't have ours together for a picture. Go figure. So we're going to no, super... That's Momville for you. Yeah, we're going to superimpose Chris into a picture of you and Debbie in October. Oh, we are? Okay. Sure. So this is the Good Ship Sampler from Kathy at Hands On Design. Yeah. And it's an old Irish proverb. Um, there are good ships and wood ships and ships that sail the sea, but the best ships are friendships. May they always be. Yeah. And the best part the about... The best part is oh Catherine reading it. Oh, my God. No, okay, so Pam... So in the late night room, Saturday night, weekend A, and so, like, the moms are at one side of the table, and the daughters and Kyle were all at the other end of the table, okay? And then Katie and Melissa were sitting there with us, too, and it, it was just, like, such a great... We, it was great. And so... Pam finishes it. I obviously don't have this with me because this is in the convention center. So, but of course I come prepared for the party. So I have a, a bell app on my phone to make a bell sound. A lot like the xylophone. And so they're like, get the bell out. Da, da, da. So that here I am. And Pam had no idea that I was doing that. And so I'm like, da, 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 on the bell. Everyone was like freaking out. It was so cute. And then all of a sudden, Catherine starts reciting it. And then all of us start reciting it. And it was just like the most beautiful friendship thing ever that ever happened. It was funny. And then it I think so from good. across the room, somebody came up with a sound effect for like a steamboat. Oh, Like really? a boop. You know, like they're coming through the locks or they're coming under the bridge they or whatever. They were you? No, it was the horn on oh, the Oh, for a ship. For a oh, ship. Oh, okay, okay. I was and like, anyway, so That's it, was, cute. it was all in good fun. Yeah, yeah. And, very, um, very cool. So that was a stitch con finish for me. Yeah. And essentially I did have a a bell ringing uh, situation. situation. But <laughs> there you go. Happy, Happy finishes, finishes, everyone. everyone. Promotions. promotions welcome to the triple p or the promotional portion of the program get out yes. of my bell <laughs> all right so we've got a few things happening here right um some don't things. skip promotions because just don't just don't uh, okay so we're also going to mix in giveaways okay mm -hmm. so um we've actually been hanging on to this since because we received this i believe like the next day after our video, yeah, the last or, time. it was actually a couple of days before. Either way, um, but because and we didn't want to do the giveaway because we right. weren't going to be available to pull a name, pull and, names, and do mailing. Yes, and okay, so we are That's talking why. about yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're talking about the signs of Christmas series that is exclusive to Crazy Annie's Stitching. It is designed by Annie B's Bullcart. And so we got the, um, I don't, yeah, they're numbered, uh, numbers five and number six in the series. Mm -hmm. um, these are so freaking cute. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, number five in the series is called Frosty's Tree Farm. So, so cute. I like Annie B's snowman. I think they're really adorable. Mm -hmm. The finishing is great too. So this is number five. And then number six is Kringle's Cocoa Bar. Yeah, I love that one. Yeah. I mean, I love both of them. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, And then it says, um, made fresh, served daily. It's just, they're really, really cute. So, um, because both Annie's are fantastic, mm -hmm. uh, we got two sets of two so one of which is for us to keep and then the other is for one of you mm -hmm. so um so if you would like to be and we're gonna do this as one set mm -hmm. so um actually no we're not because typically we would do one on one you know what i'm saying that's we true. receive them at one at a time so we're actually going to have three giveaways today, so it's your lucky day. All right, so... All right, so... 
The first item that we're giving away is this number. <laughs> number five. We'll get it together. Don't worry. Uh, and this is Frosty's Tree Farm. So if you would like to be entered in um, the contest to win this, um, if you'd like drawing. to potentially drawing, thank you, to win this, uh, then you must use the keyword. Please use it in a sentence. I do love, we do love it when you do that. We just, just for our own enjoyment. Exactly. Like, put a little effort in. You're getting some for free, you yeah? uh, know? So, <laughs> the, the keyword is frosty. So, and um, obviously we will pull winners next week. So, um, that is the first giveaway. And then this will be the second one. Okay. Mm -hmm. And... <coughs> to be entered for this drawing. Mm. What? Oh, that's a good one. Okay. No, because I, I don't, I, I like, I like to, I like to make, give them two words that don't really go together. Oh, okay, okay. But Frosty and Mode go together. I see. Okay, thank you. And pet me. Let me see. No, that's too easy. Um, this word? That word. <laughs> it's the opposite. <laughs> okay. All right. So, to be entered in the giveaway for number six, Kringle's Cocoa Bar, we are going to have you use the word hot. Because it's the opposite of rusty. There you go. And I think that's funny. So, <laughs> and this is... And I'm one half of this channel, so there you go. All right, so that is giveaway number one and giveaway number two. So, again, thank you to the Annies for both of these. Mm -hmm. And, okay. Do you have any? No, you don't. Okay, perfect. All right, so. Then. All of a sudden, we lost some light. I don't know. It's it called clouds. That's okay. what happened. So don't worry. Okay. We'll be fine. Everyone can still see us. Okay. Uh, okay. So we also received um, a lovely package in the mail from our sweet friend, Ethel. And she is the designer behind... See, look. This one's back out. Uh, she is the designer behind uh, Stitches by Ethel. And she sent us this cute little cat card. Oh, I love it. Um, I don't... Tell me you're a cat person without telling me you're a cat person because I look at this and go, oh, big stretch. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Every time they stretch. Sometimes right in front of where you want to walk. Uh, most of the time, that's how it is, yeah. So. Um, where is the little Beavis? He's in my chair. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to leave him there. Okay? okay. Until the very end of the video. Uh, and then we'll, then we'll show everyone okay. how big he is. Okay. So there are two new designs from Ethel. I'm very excited to share them with you today. So um, the first one is called Shore is Fun. And Adorable. Obsessed. Mm -hmm. Look at those little seagulls. Mm -hmm. I mean, can you even handle it? Mm -hmm. Very, very cute. So this is the chart only, but of course she gives you all of the information as to like the button and all of that stuff on the back. So that's number one. And then the second one, which I'm very excited about, is called One Giant Leap. And this is set, like the subtitle says, Celebrating Space Exploration. And I just don't feel like you see a lot of stuff like this out there. And I think this is so freaking cute. So, mm -hmm. look at it. Kefran. Mm hmm. Kefi. It's adorable. Okay. It's adorable. Um, so. Because Ethel is amazing. She sent us two sets. One for us to keep, obviously. And one to give away. So, in organizing the stuff for the video today, um, Pam was uh, unsupervised in the annex at StitchCon and bought something that she already had. So... Pam's mistake is your reward, okay? Because remember when there was market uh -huh. and I decided I would go on a new pattern diet? Yeah, yeah. So anything that, that came Steph out of brought market. home for me from market yeah. was going to be set aside for whatever. 
for birthday, Christmas, whatever. So I didn't know this was set aside for me. I she didn't remember Market was 100 years ago right. in my world. That's very true. So <laughs> That's very true. So this was just a second purchase of this yeah. chart by uh, by Erin Elizabeth Designs. And this is American flag. And appropriate since this is the week of the 4th of July. Absolutely. So, so we are going to pair this chart with Shore is Fun. And one giant leap, which like nothing says patriotic American summer more than American flag, a trip to the beach, and space. And the flag on the moon. I mean, you know, really, you know, it is what it is. So, if you would like to be entered to win this bundle, then I mean that's clearly patriotic. So let's think. Well, it's of Americana. We're trying to change the vernacular to oh, America. Okay. okay. But let's use the word flag. Okay. Let's just use the word flag. Is okay. there a flag on every one of those? Um, well, technically, there's not a flag on this, okay. but there's two out of three ain't bad. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. All right. Flag. Yes. Okay. So there's those are the three giveaways for this week. Right. You must be 18 years of age or older mm -hmm. you can live anywhere in the world we don't care um you must be a subscriber to this channel and do not use the word giveaway or prize or whatever you know those words that trolls love in your comments um and then we'll pull we'll pull three winners next week yeah okay so there's that but we're not done with promos yet so hold please uh, and thank you to ethel for the yes. package and your sweet card yeah and uh, annie too we, we did thank Annie. Okay. So now we thank all the Annie's 47 <laughs> times. So that's good. All right. Then we also received our So Much to Love project bag of the month for the month of June. We did. So, um, I mean, I don't have favorite project bags, but this is probably one of my favorites. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been in her club for numerous, numerous years, and this is hands down one of my favorite. Like the fabric is great, the colors are great, all the things. So if this is your first time watching an unboxing of the So Much Love Project Bag of the Month Club, welcome. And so not only is it a incredible, incredible project bag that is exclusive to the club members and not available widely, but it also comes stuffed with a bunch of goodies that are like kind of all on theme. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's awesome. So, and then a, a lovely note from Karen, who is the head of So Much to Love, and kind of explaining all the things that are inside the package, which is great. So, and usually the things inside the package, like I said, they're all on theme. So, you might have a little hint of what's happening. So, we first got three skeins of DMC. We also got some of Karen's favorite needles, which are Bowen number 26. Cute, cute, cute. Uh, we also got some hard candies in bright red, orange, yellow colors. Every month we also get a bag of stash tea. This color is, or color, this flavor is peach. Love it. And then not every month, but many months, we get a chart designed by one of the numerous numerous amazingly talented designers out here in our community and this month it's from kathy at hands-on design and this pattern is so this pattern is exclusive to this club uh, and will be for maybe like a year and then it will be released publicly but this pattern is called made in the shade Look at how adorable that look at the little crabs. It's just and the seagulls. Precious. It's so just so precious. cute. Oh, I love it. Mm -hmm. Adorable. So very excited about this. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait to stitch it. Mm -hmm. Piano fight over it. It's fine. Mm -hmm. And then you guys want to see the bag? So prepare yourselves, put your sunglasses on, everyone. Ready, go. Oh, it's so pretty. I look at the little crab. 
And the little it's amazing. shells and the blankets and the tanning lotion. Oh, it's just so freaking cute. And then more of that on the back. Adorable. I also really love this blue color. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so good. Now wait for the inside. <laughs> Look at those beach balls. Are you dead? Yeah. It's, pretty, it's so good. It's pretty cool. Oh, I love it so much. Mm -hmm. um, so, like... Oh, such a good bag. Okay. So, if you love the So Much Love bag, if she has extras, then she will put them up on her Etsy shop, um, of, which I will, of course, link below. But, so good, Karen. So good. Love it. So, okay. And okay. then, the last uh, promotional item of this week right. is the Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, what that is, is every week we pick a pattern. Sometimes it's new. Sometimes it's an oldie but a goodie. And we share it with you all. And for one week, that pattern is 20% off. So uh, this week's Pattern of the Week from Twin Peak Primitives is what, Pam? This week's uh, patterns of the week are a selection of absolutely adorable animal designs that actually you named these for the twins. I did. Because are they all in one book or are they all separate? Um, maybe we can check the... Okay. So there are... It's all one book. Right. There's seven different patterns in this book and they're called quirky critters yes so when they were designing them when the twins were designing them they were sort of sharing their like rough sketches and like initial stages of designing blah blah, blah with us and so i i think one of the words i used to describe it was like i love them because they're so quirky mm -hmm. and then we landed on quirky quitter quirky <laughs> Not quirky quitters, okay? <laughs> quirky critters. Right. They're so cute. There's seven different adorable animals with yeah. different colors. And they're, they're like steampunk vibes. Yeah, kind of. Yes. Yeah, that's a good... We've got a picture we can insert, right? Well, I was thinking that we would do seven... Oh, so pictures. we're going to have kind so of you a can little see them all. show. So you yeah. can see each one. I just feel like they deserve yeah. their own. So we'll, yes. um, we'll insert that here. here. Are so cute. Yes. Oh, okay. I think. I mean, I'm like torn, but like, look at this. Like the dog is just. I cannot handle it. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's just so freaking. And the bunny. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm very, very excited about these yeah. patterns. I think they're great. So anyway, all that to say. Right. A few things are different with this pattern of the week. Not a few. The one, one thing. One thing <laughs> that's different that is important to note is. This week, it is PDF only. Right. So, there's no hard copy this week. Diane, who is um, usually the distributor of the hard copy, is on vacation this yep. week. So, we love that for her. And so, it is PDF only. However, you can get the PDF from either the Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy shop. 
Either way works fine. So both of those are linked below. Mm -hmm. There's no special coupon code or anything like that that you need. Just add it to your cart and check out. So when we, the best pattern of the week deals are always when a booklet is one of the pattern of the week yeah, because, because so it's much. a higher price point. So you get a bigger chunk off, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're interested at all, this is a week to get it. So yep. yay. Okay. Thank you to the twins. Quirky Critters. There Quirky you go. Critters. All right. That means it's time for mail call. All right. So, um, start with yeah, this? why don't you do that? Okay. So on Sunday of my baseball weekend, yes, we were downtown because we stayed over on Saturday night. Yeah. And my oldest stitchy friend lives in Kentucky, in Florence, and came into downtown and we met her for brunch mm -hmm. about 11 o'clock before the Sunday afternoon game. Yeah. And I wanted to show you what she gave me for my birthday because it's amazing. It's very cute. And oh, she this, put a card in it, like a you know, like card. a library card. Yeah. Sure. Um, very cute. And so this Aww. is oh gosh, I don't know the name of this. It's from the drone thread. Did, oh, did she put it on the thing? No, it was just a greeting. Oh, okay. So it's from the drone thread, and I think it's circle of cats or something. Mm, circle kittens. of cats is not it. Kittens, something kittens. Anyway, isn't that cute? But it's very cute. She made a ton of changes. Yeah, she made a bunch of changes. She put the um, buttons on the corners, yeah. which I love. And um, she just knows our world revolves around our cats now. Mm -hmm. And it's so... A, it's a lovely life. We thank you, thank you. Love you, love you, Vicky. Yes. She also made this adorable uh, ornament. And... She changed some things on this, too. And she I, did all the finishing, right? Yeah, she did all the finishing. Look at that. I can't remember so the amazing. designer of this either, but I think some of you of my age will remember there was a whole series of I Love Snowmen and... Oh, really? Yeah. I can't think I did not know that. Yeah. But oh, that's cute. This is not a standalone. There was a whole bunch of this. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So... Cute. Um, yeah. So... Cool. Just wanted to share share those since oh and she also put the uh -huh. the little mice on the top of the frame isn't that very cute? very cute yes so that was lovely we had a great brunch with her mm -hmm. and um, I haven't seen her in a bit because oh. I'm north of the city obviously she's south of the city mm -hmm. almost equidistant from downtown and so we don't see each other as often as we'd like right. Okay, and then, oh my goodness, this box came right before StitchCon. Yes. From the Netherlands, and we don't want to spill it, but it is from the twins. Happy birthday. So cute. How fun. Mm -hmm. um, this has just all kinds of goodies all, all the in goodies. it. I mean, two of these chocolate bars. Mm. Um, these uh, gummies that they're my Stephanie, favorite gummies of all time. Stephanie tried which was over so the nice that they sent them for me and they remember. Um, these cute little cookie. No, these are soap. This yeah. is soap in a soap dish. So cute. In the blue. Yes. Um, these cookies here, which are mm. like a biscuit or a cookie with chocolate on them. Yes, please. Yeah, obviously. Um, Duh. It wouldn't be from the twins, and it wouldn't be treats if we didn't have strip waffles. Strip waffles. So we have those to dive into. Yep, love it. Another one of my favorite things in the world from the Netherlands are the famous windmill cookies. Ugh. Look at this huge box of windmill cookies. Cam is thrilled. I to have these. love those. Best with tea. Yes, so good. Like, there's so many cookies in here. Oh my goodness. These are, I think, let's see, I'm not going to be able to tell you. Ugh. But. Raffaello. Raffaello. They're like Fiera Rocher's, but the yeah. ones in Amazing. the Netherlands. Ugh. Amazing. They're so good. And last but not least, these little frosted cakes mm. from the Netherlands. So, yes. So uh, good. This actually came very quickly, but of course, um, this is the first time we've 
got yeah, to absolutely. show. So. so, you know, we love those two. And, so thank you, thank you, because um, I'm all reap of benefits, too. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, that one. Let's see. Yeah. So, under mail call, yes. in other words, not purchase, but so. just sent complimentarily. Um, this is a new cell from the Historical Sampler Company in the UK. Yes. And it is starting on the 15th of July. And it's the Happy Halloween Stitch Along. Yes. And I got the whole box. And it included some Halloween cookies. Awesome. Some... Cute. Uh... Floss drops. Oh, those are really cute. Aren't those cute. Very I cute, mean, like woodcut ones. Woodcut ones. Um, a ghosty little needle minder. Cute. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. A pair of scissors. Orange. Love it. Obviously. Um, a spool of sparkly thread Ooh, that I think spooky. is going to go in the design. Spooky, spooky. And a Nerge number four hoop. Oh, that's awesome so very generous of i the did gals. not know that nerds made wooden hoops if i'm being honest yep and That's cool. so um I love that very we will be looking these in are our, adorable i know we will be looking in our email for um the clue number one clue number one whatever i think it's four parts cool. starting awesome. middle of the month and inside here yeah. are the um the linen, I asked for linen, yep. and the um, DMC Love it. thread pack in the awesome. envelope. So I'm ready to go ready with that. Ready to go. And, Love that for you. Um, that was very exciting. That also came very fast. Yeah, for sure. So maybe uh, our delivery systems around the world are improving. Catching up, especially the international ones. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh. Uh, yeah, those are your birthday things. Okay, this is a lovely handmade card from our friend Tiffany Pike, mm -hmm. who makes her own cards, and isn't that cute? So cute. So that's from Tiff and her family. Yep. This came, again, from the Netherlands, and um, <laughs> ah, I always have funny. said, you know, sometimes greeting cards from Europe are square in shape. Sure. And this is from our dear friend, Eveline, Stitching Eve, on Instagram. And um, isn't that a beautiful card? So pretty. And she said, P.S., not square this year. Hilarious. And then this beautiful card from our friend, Karen. And we love a Karen. lovely card, lovely sentiment. We love you back, Karen. And she put a little birthday surprise inside. Woo, we love a birthday situation. Um, let's see. Um, the lovely Sarah from Somi Sarah in Northern Ireland, floss tuber, mm -hmm. um, arranged with this, um, designer named, uh, Lauren, who goes by floss abilities, uh, came out with this pillow design and Sarah said she immediately thought of me and purchased it and had it sent to me. And How freaking cute is this pillow? Isn't that adorable? Obsessed. It, I, I I didn't know that this it. happened. Like it was a, it yeah. was obviously an interaction between Sarah and Pam. Yeah. And I was like, what is this? Yeah. So cute. I want to see what the thread is. Deep blue sea from Classic Color Works. Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Oh. And so That's she so purchased cute. it from Lauren at Floss Abilities and and. And send it along. And that is Sarah, so fun. very thoughtful. I love it. Yes, love absolutely. It, love it, love it. Um, we also okay. So yeah, Steph will tell you about this. All right. So um, you know there was a lot of highlights from both weekends of StitchCon, obviously. Yeah. And I think like as we've gone through the video, we've mentioned things here and there, whatever. Yeah. Uh, so the highlight for week. One of the highlights of Weekend A for me was the fact that, like, all of my closest inner circle people got to be together, and that they, like, not, this wasn't the first time that they've all met each other, but it was just, like, to see all of the, my people together was just, like, very amazing for me. So, um, it was 
the crockpot crew and um, then like the mother daughter friend group, right? So two of those members of the mother daughter group, which is funny because one is not a mother nor a daughter, uh, but <laughs> um, is Sarah and Kyle. Um, and so Kyle just had a big milestone birthday and he and Sarah went on an amazing trip to Europe. They went to Paris. They went to London. They did all these amazing things. It was so fun um, to hear all about that. And in their travels, they thought about us, which I thought was just really sweet and lovely. So, uh, so Kyle, uh, handed me this to be fair, you guys, I don't know if this is from Sarah or, and Kyle, or just from Kyle or just from Sarah. I don't know, but I know that you both went to Europe and brought this back and handed it to me. So I don't know, but either way I'm obsessed. So, um, I believe this was purchased in France. Um, and well, it says Paris on it. So there you have go. Um, look at this. Are you serious? I love it. It's so freaking cute. I mean, can you even look at, look at, look at, <laughs> I love it so much. I love this so much. And it is a full kit complete with all of the things. It's adorable. I love it so much, you guys. Thank you. Um, they managed to find something nautical for me. Yeah. And I love it too. Um, it is, uh, I think yours is also from Le Bonheur des Dames. Yeah. And it I is. think that they have a shop in Paris, I think. I, yeah, I think so. So I don't know enough French to translate this, but uh, that is the kit that they brought me. Okay, and now I gotta do the Google Translate. Why? Because I wanna know what it says. What? Which, what are you trying what to What your kit says? What does it say? Oh. No, what does the top say? Oh, this. Well, I think Le Bonheur is B O N H E U R D E S D A M E S. Yeah. Ladies' happiness. Yeah. That's Le Bonheur cute. is happiness. So. And does it have? A, doesn't have like a title. Title. Mm -hmm. Um. Cute. Yeah. Cute. 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 Yeah. Thank you guys so very much. So I think they might have gotten each of those at a shop yeah. that's oh, yeah. called that in sure. Paris. That's awesome. So thank you so much, you guys. Okay, what about this here? Nope, that's all haul. That's all haul. Yes, and I have other mail call over here. Ho, ho. Okay, so. If we haven't taken a break yet, now would be a good time. Yes. All right. We'll be here. Yeah. Okay, so. Wait a minute. What about the, um. Can we pause it? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Sorry, I had to have a meeting of the minds. <laughs> meeting of the minds, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so our sweet, sweet friend, Lori, at uh, Lori the Flying Cross Stitcher, uh, she was unable to, at last minute, come to StitchCon, which was such a bummer because we really loved seeing her. Uh, but she had told me weeks and weeks ago that she was going to bring me some Mill Hill kits, some vintage Mill Hill kits, and because she knows that I'm on a Mill Hill kick. And so instead of bringing them to StitchCon, she mailed them to me, which was very, very sweet. And she sent this lovely card. And we just miss seeing you so much. Oh, yeah. And so, like, look how vintage. Yeah. Obsessed. Um, oh, and I put the chart that she was going to bring to StitchCon for me. It's in the other room. But she sent a chart for me. Okay. Would you like me to pause it and go get it? Is that what you're implying? I'm not exactly sure how to direct you where it would be. Oh, okay. Well, if you'll find it, we can show it next week. Yeah, we'll show it next week. So, these are all so cute. I love them. Some of them I have. Some of them I don't have. So, um, I will figure that all out. And then... Um, yeah, we missed you, Lori. Yes, we did. So, thank you so much, Lori. This is so very thoughtful because I am very, very much into Mill Hills at the moment. So, yeah, that's awesome. Thank you, Lori. And then, uh, this came from a viewer, Lorraine, in Roxbury, Idaho. And um, she uh, obviously watched our recent video about um, Bear World. And uh, it wasn't a video about Bear World. It was just a video that we, we, mentioned. we mentioned Bear World. Okay. 
And uh, so she sent us some lovely things from Idaho, including these two very lovely cards. I think like Tiffany, she makes her own cards. These are so, so pretty. Mm -hmm. So thank you for those. And then she sent both Pam and I our own little keychains with a little bear on it. Aren't and those cute? It says Idaho. I love it. It's so, they're so cute. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Adorable. So Pam and I both got one of those. And then she sent us a couple of Idaho spuds. Yeah, classic Idaho. Mm-hmm. In the snack drawer. And um, a couple, I think these are for like plants or planters. Yeah, to put in your plants. So box. cute. Yeah. Very cute. So, thank you, Lorraine. Very, very sweet. Yes. And the last little bit of mail call that I have, we have is from our friend Linda down in Kentucky. Yep. And she had reached out to Pam and yeah. she said, I have some charts that I want to de-stash or get rid of or whatever. Right. Can I send them to you? We, of course, said absolutely. Mm -hmm. So uh, she sent us three you and I and friends charts which mm -hmm. are so cute mm -hmm. love them yep then um she also sent this awesome joan elliott joan elliott design which is amazing i mean look at how detailed it is mm -hmm. oh wow yeah that's just really cool really really cool then this chart, which obviously Pam will stitch is from samplers and stitches it's called christmas morning mm-hmm I love the song. Um, Wait a second. Okay, so we've just put two and two together. So, Melissa, I think, tell us. I think if we're right someone or wrong. stitched this for me named Melissa. Yeah, uh huh. And made it into a drum. Right. And all of our Christmas stuff is packed away. So, we can't pull it out and check. So, we can't pull it out and check. But if it turns out yeah. that. Yeah, we had this as a finished version. <laughs> right, then it'll be in a giveaway. Yeah, for sure. For Christmas. It's a beautiful, beautiful chart. I think that this is what it was, Pam. Okay. I think Because so. I like the song, I Saw Three Ships yes. Come Sailing. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas, Christmas Day in the morning. morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That whole thing. Yeah. And then uh, she sent two uh, Americana pieces. This one from Needlework Press called, I think it's called Sweet Land. Yep. I love it. Mm-hmm. It's got a very Maggie Benominee vibe. Yes, it does. Um, which I love. And then this one from Blackbird, which is called Justice for All. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. I'm obsessed with yeah. this piece. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. So, mm -hmm. and it, this is in literal perfect condition. Yeah. yeah. Mint. Mint condition. Minted. So. Thank you, Linda. Yes. Thank you so much. For all the variety and we love it all. Yes. And then... At this point, I think this is where I'm an appropriate place to mention. We received so many mm -hmm. amazing, amazing, amazing gifts, cards, things that you made at StitchCon. Right. Whether they were things that were dropped off at the table and they were flossed up with your mm -hmm. Instagram or floss up channel name, whether they were personalized things that made just for Pam and I, um, and everything in between. Yes. We cannot tell you how incredibly grateful we are for you. Yes. Um, it means so much to us that in the preparations for attending SitchCon, mm -hmm. which is a big enough task in and of itself. Yes. You thought of us mm -hmm. ahead of time. And for the... There are some things that we know for sure who they came from and some things that we don't know for sure who they came from. Um because it's a lot in two weekends. And so we don't want to risk missing someone or getting something in not correct and all the things. Yeah. But you know who you are mm -hmm. out there in the world that gave us all these special tokens from StitchCon 2024 that we will hold very, very near and dear to our hearts. Yes. So it just... I'll talk, speak we, on this we, more at the end of the we video. We have but... unpacked everything. Yes. Um, and we unpacked some things that were related to the baseball weekend. Yes. And um, other things that... Uh, Project bags and just like finished cross-stitch pieces. Amazing things. And... Things that were brought to me that they found on the freebie table. Sure. <coughs> Absolutely. <coughs> Pardon me. So just... Yeah. Just know that it we are all very, is very appreciated. Grateful. 
All of it is and appreciated. And none of it is required. <laughs> none no. of it is required, but we, we are so... We would still have let you in, even I, if... You didn't give us a gift. Okay? Yeah. So, thank you very, very much yeah. to each and every one of you that came to StitchCon and gave us something from you to us. Yes. Um, we have things that are scattered, like, on display already, and mm -hmm. it just is really amazing. And you very... You make us feel very loved and appreciated. So thank you, thank you so much for that. Yes. So before I start crying, I think that's all the mail call. <laughs> yeah. Are those? This is no. This is all. Is it? And that's all. Okay. All right. So we're done with mail call. Okay. Moving on. All righty. Now on to hall. You want me to go? Yes, I do. Okay. She wants me to go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. This is one that uh, Stephanie purchased for me, I believe. Uh, I did, after you asked me to. Yes. <laughs> I, I just want to be clear. I didn't see it and think, oh, Pam. No. Um, just so we're all on the same page here about that. <laughs> uh, I like um, fruit crate labels. She does. It's fact. Um, I think it comes from my couple of years living in California way back in the 80s. And uh, Marabilia, as far as I know, has two. Uh -huh. And this is one of them. This is called Golden Girl Apples. And you know me, I love the color. Oh, so gorge. So, Stephanie picked that up for me along with the um, embellishment pack, which yep. is four different colors of Mill Hill beads. Perfect. So, that was awesome. Yeah. Um, we also got the latest issue of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. Yes. And we've already started tabbing some things. Tabbing some things like Teresa's Miss Liberty, for oh, instance. So good. And ooh, what is this one? Oh yeah. Oh the, yes. Um, Crochetta Go Go. So Patriotic good. Basket. So, so cute. Oh, yeah, here, show the back of that, because that's got Teresa's. Yeah. It's so freaking cute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. But that um, one from Crochetta Go Go, I mean, I might have to punch you to stitch it. I'm just saying, I will fight you. Oh, oh, yeah. Because I want to stitch it well, so fine. much. Oh, um, that's fine. Thank before you. I get into what I got at StitchCon, yeah. I will mention another sale that I'm signed up for, and that is the Monster House sale. From Jody Rice at Satsuma Street. Yeah. And this is all we know. So, um, based on some sneak peeks on Instagram, on Jody's Instagram account, um, I am all in because color. Color, color. Oh, her color is yeah. so good. So, Can we're we looking forward to that. It looks like it's going to be started uh, middle of July, July 12th. Yeah. Yeah, that's a sneak peek on our Instagram. I mean, seriously. It's, yeah, it starts July 12th. Yeah. Are you going to start it on July 12th, Pam? I don't know. At this point. Everyone needs to know what's happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, this is, let me get this weighty thing out of the way. Weighty thing. Uh, we mentioned Athena at the top of the show, um, we did. and she was at Weekend B. Yep. And well, she, was she? Because you said she was at A before. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, she was at A. Sorry. Okay, sorry, fine. Athena. No, sorry. Um, and she was stitching on a huge piece called Spooky Hollow. It um, was on a big frame and stopped me in my tracks. Stop me in my tracks. Love it. So I said, what is that? Oh, my goodness. And she Sorry, they said just fit better to do it that way. Spooky Hollow from Little Stitch Girl, our friend Jordan. Yes. Why I didn't know about this, I don't know. So there are 12 it's buildings. It's hard to know everything, Pam. There are 12 buildings in Spooky Hollow. Yeah. And they are so well designed. I cannot stress this enough. The amount of detail and humor and design in so these good. is beyond. Yes. When I was talking to Athena, she is doing them all in one piece. Uh -huh. Three rows of four. Okay. So I'm going to show you the four 
plus eight individual charts. So 12. Why did you yeah. say it like that? Well, because Athena's four only gotten eight. up to the four that I We're saw. I'll show stitched. you six plus six. <laughs> anyway, the first one is Rest in Peace. And Athena was so funny on her video. She said, I think she could have maybe uh, re-spelled peace and made it... P-I-E-C? Peace, pieces. Oh. You know, make Ooh. it a little bit, a little you bit know... gory. Ma Yikes. Made it a little bit... But anyway. Yeah. Okay. Um, Number two. Coffee shop. Cute. Dance hall. Monster mash. Get it? Get it? Love it. And she was finishing up on Dracula's Coffins. I love the shape of the building. I do too. Yeah. So that was as far as Athena had gotten on her piece of fabric, which sure. she dyed herself. Okay. So the rest of them are Pumpkin Patch, little gazebo, super cute. That's funny that you say gazebo, because I say gazebo. It's tomato, tomato, baby. Right. Um, library. Obviously. Look at all those books in there. <laughs> That's what makes it a library. Pam, I just was saying, look at the... Yeah. Sorry. Uh, sweet Shop. Love it. Love candy it. corn. With all the candy corn and the eyeballs uh, in, the in the jar. Adorable. Yep. Um, Obviously. Cemetery. Like we need one. a cemetery, of course. It's a spooky town. Duh. Barber, which is a shout out to Nicole's grandfather who was a barber for many years. Nicole? Not Nicole. Jordan. Jordan, Jordan Nicole. Jordan. I was like, who the hell is Nicole? Boutique, <laughs> B-O-O. Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I love the, um, yeah. Yep, cute. It's just, they're just adorable. Um, this is Schoolhouse. Mm -hmm. With all the ghosties being little kids. Oh, ghosties cool. and goblins. Love it. And last but not least, Spider's Web Stitchery, the stitchery. Adorable. So these are all four, all 12. I can't count. All 12 of them. Which is six plus six. And because Athena dyed her own fabric, yeah. I was on the hunt. Of course. So I does. went into the annex at StitchCon and I got this huge piece, 35 by 52. Which is a full yard. A full yard of lavender from Atomic. Yep. Ah! And they're all going to go on there. That's great. And if you go to Little Stitch Girl's website, yep. you get the border, which has the heading spooky. Welcome to, to Spooky Town or whatever yep. the heck it says. Yep. So, Freaking cute. You Katie. know, you walk around StitchCon and you see so many lovely things. Yeah. But this stopped me in my tracks. Oh. I had to know. Exciting. Okay. Love it. So... Okay. Um, actually, I went on uh, Jordan's Etsy and ordered the patterns. Mm -hmm. I got the fabric at StitchCon. Right. Okay. Um, she has an Etsy, not a website, or does she have both? Wait a minute. Maybe both. Okay, it's fine. I can figure it out. It's not a big deal. Okay. Um, you got this. Yeah, I know. But you from the annex, and I absconded with it. You sure did. But that's okay. Um, want to talk about Jeanette. Okay. Um, Jeanette Douglas had a trunk show there. Uh-huh. And one of the things that I got excited about was, oh. sorry, fine. uh, was my stitching box by Jeanette Douglas. Mm -hmm. I got the thread pack and... So isn't it? It's more than just this box top, though. Just right. To be there's fair. all kinds of things inside. There's all this stuff. There's all these smalls. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a good picture of what's inside. Yeah. Right. So there's all. And then you go to Fat Quarter Shop and you get the box. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So I did that while at StitchCon. Yep. So I would have everything together. Everything to get up. The other one that struck my fancy was Blooming Bouquets, which is number five, Bountiful. I just love the colors of this. Did you get the thread pack for that? I don't think so. Okay. I can so get it for That you. was from Jeanette. When the time comes. Um, oh, I love these ones. She this, has like a whole series of them. I know. I have this poinsettia one. It's so pretty. 
This is from Erin Elizabeth. This is called Fall Cabin. Adorb. I'm a sucker for plaid. So I got that. This is the first year that we had a trunk show from Erin Elizabeth, which was awesome. Um, th these were all hanging off of a tree in the annex, and yep. they're called Angels in Blue from Rosewood Manor, and there is one of the six is an angel blowing a horn. So we obviously had to get that. So we obviously had to get that. Yeah. Angels in Blue. Um, there was a trunk show from Forbidden Fiber Co., mm -hmm. and this one is called Reed. Of course, I had to get that. Duh. What? I was just wondering if you got the fibers for it. Nope. Okay. And then, um, these are brand new, as far as I know, from Bent Creek. Yeah. This is a new zipper kit from Bent Creek called Pop of Patriotic. Obsessed. I love the ombre. Uh, love look, it. Also, look at that freaking eagle. Yep. I mean, it's so cute. Yep. And this is one of their flares. Uh, which are little teeny tiny, and this is called Imagine. Nice. Just love it. Yep. So, so cute. So that was my StitchCon haul. And this is a new series from them. Yeah. So there's like different cards, and you can either stitch them individually or stitch them all together. So that's kind of fun. Yep. Okay. I'm going to give you all of your haul back. Yep. So your stuff. All right. Hold on. I'm going to pause for a second. Okay, I had to get some shiz rearranged. Rearranged. Okay, so since Pam just showed her haul from StitchCon, uh, then I will start with my haul from StitchCon. So there was a trunk show from Black Cat Stitchery, and I got shocker <laughs> this bag with the baseball on. So. I currently have my baseball mill hill in a like a small patriotic Americana bag, um, but I think I might move it to this. <laughs> so that's cute. I got that manix, and then uh, I only got two other charts from the annex. So uh, there was a trunk show from Teresa Kogut, and this is called Just a Girl, and it says Just a Girl with Needle and Thread. Oh, cute. And I, there was like a red colorway and a blue colorway. So what we had from Teresa, we didn't have any models. She just sent us like a box of her new releases. Um, and so I just picked this up from there. And then... Uh, this is uh for i've been kind of looking at this for a while um and i just ended up buying it because it's so freaking cute this is from the blue flower and this is uh seasons of the heart hearts for pam and i just love it i love all the unique animals i think it's so pretty and the model is gorgeous so so that's all I got from the StitchCon Annex. Um, so I think I did pretty good. Thank you so much. Uh, I could have gotten a lot of fabric, but I did not. Um, okay. And then I have other keepsakes haul that came in um, while we were away. Uh, so these... Okay. There was someone at Weekend A who, on the brag table had a boatload of Mill Hill finishes. Wow. Like, probably, I want to say at least 15, if not 20. Okay. It was incredible. Okay. So, I, of course, took a picture of it and then immediately ordered all of the ones I wanted. <laughs> so, um, I think that some of these are inspired from that, and then some of these were like, I went down a rabbit hole. So... <laughs> Yay for me. Uh, so this is, I believe this is, yeah, this is a 2024. These two small ones are new from their winter holiday collection. This is called High Bear Nating. Cute. Look at him in there. Oh, he's so cute. And then this is called Cozy Cabin. Adorbs. And yeah, out of all of the ones from their 2024 holiday collection. These are my two favorites, so I got those. 
Then this was one I'd ordered a while ago. It was on back order and it finally came in. And um, this is a, one of the larger Mill Hills and it is from their Christmas Village. And this is Daily News. Oh, nice. So freaking cute. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, then also inspired by the Brad Cable at StitchCon. I believe that this was, again, Weekend A. And you guys, this would, in a million years, I would never thought that this would be something that I would purchase, but I did it. And because seeing it stitched made all the difference in the world. So this is from the Snowman Collector Series from Cottage Garden Samplings. And this is number nine, The Pirate. When I tell you that that little parrot wearing a hat, oh, I just can't. It's so cute. And then the little tiny little snowman people, like, look at him on the edge of the ship. It's so cute. The colors are incredible. It's just very unique. I don't know. I don't put it up at Halloween. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. So cute. So, mm -hmm. so, so cute. Okay. Uh, then this is next in the Little House Needle Works log cabin Christmas. This is chart number four. This is in the woods bear. Love it. So freaking cute. Then, uh, you know, in preparation for StitchCon at Keepsakes, we place a lot of orders to reshop, restock the shop and make sure we've got all the things in place. So whenever we place a shop order with Shepherd's Bush out in Utah, I always just like take a little quick peek -see and see <laughs> if there's anything new that strikes my fancy so right. I have it ordered. Uh, and this is the Give Thanks Always pin cushion. I mean, look at those fracking turkeys. And that ship and that little fruit bowl at the top. It's so good. So good. And then of course it comes with all everything that you need. Which we love that. And then this is new from October House Fiber Arts. This is one of their skinny mini patterns. And this is called Faded Flag. And I love it. Very, very cute. So can't wait to stitch that. So that's awesome. Uh, then, uh, Pam and I got our fabric of the month from Color and Cotton. Yep. And this is called Dove. And I get 36 and Pam gets 32. Uh, it's like a perfect neutral. Mm -hmm. Like, love it. So good. Such a good gray. Mm -hmm. So good. Yep. Then... I got my monthly patchwork bag from my girl Jess at Como Stitches. Oh, it's so good. Um, and so this is what it looks like. God bless America. It's so good. Don't butcher it. <laughs> oh, it's just amazing. Okay. I love it so much. Look at this. I love a big... I love a loud floral. <laughs> like, if you're going to be floral, be loud. Thank you. Um, and then, <laughs> this is what the inside looks like. Nice little yeah, I creamy mean, neutral. Yeah, I mean, you said enough on the outside, <laughs> I feel like. America! This is so good. So, thank you, Jess. I love it so much, per usual. Wow. Uh, so, I do believe that is all the haul. That, that is all of the haul. Add to cart. Okay, so from now on, well, not from now on, from this point on, um, we're going to just talk about some highlights from State Trauma. We're not going to really linger on it, but um, we're going to do that. So, but we want to let you know that if you are someone who is not interested in hearing about StitchCon um, or any of that, then this would be the point where yeah. we'd say goodbye. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. And it's good to be back. And we will see you next week. Right. So now we will switch gears and talk about Stitch Okay. Okay. So like we said, we really don't, don't want to like sit here and talk about Stitch for an hour. Um, 
but as the two as the largest floss tube channel that's on the StitchCon team, we're not ignorant to the fact that if you are wanting more information about StitchCon, want to hear about how StitchCon went this year, um, have questions, comments, concerns about StitchCon, and don't direct them to Keepsakes or to Barbara, and you want to talk to us about it, that we are the mouthpieces for the event, and we are honored to do that. So, um, we didn't want to just skip over it as if it didn't happen, obviously. Um, and so, but, uh, if you want to find out like how everything works, like your FAQ questions, the StitchCon website is the place to go for that information. Um, this is the sixth StitchCon that we've done. So it's pretty much all basically the same situation. It is a floss tubers and fans retreat. So that is the focus of the event. We've always told people that if you don't watch any floss tube, of course you are welcome to come. Absolutely. We're not going to tell anyone they can't come. That's insane. However, if you watch floss tube, even if you just watch one channel, there is an energy in the room that you will understand. If you don't participate in the floss tube community at all, you just won't understand it. Right. And I just think that that's just the fact of the matter. Right. Um, it's not good or bad. It's not a requirement to be a floss tube watcher, to be a stitcher. You know, it is what it is, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but the floss tube community in and of itself is a vibrant, mm -hmm. loving, yeah. incredible community. And so what StitchCon has always been from 2018 and our first event to 2024 and beyond is it is a place to take this relationship and make it 3D. Yeah, and put like put faces to names. And a lot of the time, like uh, a comment that we get all the time, whether it's at StitchCon or otherwise, is I know you, but you don't know me. Mm -hmm. And StitchCon is an opportunity for us to get to know you. Right. Um, and for other floss tubers, of course, to get to know the people that watch their videos. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what it's always been. That's what it will always be. Um, of course, it's evolved and, in our opinion, gotten better over the years. Um, but it's absolutely wonderful. And we had a very, very wonderful time. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of like housekeeping situations first. Um, I know that. So this is what happens. Is StitchCon happens. And then. Anyone with any sort of platform, whether it's FlossTube or Instagram or a Facebook page or anything, they go home and whatever variety of experience they had from life-changing to incredible to good to anything in between. Um, they talk about they it. They talk about it. They at share their LNS, at their Stitchy group, at yep. their, you know, weekly gathering, monthly yes. gathering. They talk about it. People want to know. Right. And, and then uh, there's people with the platform. Word spreads. Yeah. So then the people with the platform, um, they're sharing it on the internet. Mm -hmm. And then the the stitching community is receiving that information. And so, which is great. That's sort of how it works, right? Right. So um, a lot of people have sent emails or messages inquiring about next year. Uh, and so we have not made any sort of official announcement about dates for 2025. There will be a StitchCon 2025. I can guarantee you that. Um, and it will be in June, two back-to-back -back weekends, 300 people each weekend in June. At the Sharon Vulcan Convention Center, it will always be in Cincinnati. So there's no change in that. Um, so there's that. But we haven't officially announced any dates yet. So once StitchCon happens... The Keepsakes, which sponsors StitchCon, is open for two weeks after Weekend B, until the end of June. We spend those two weeks getting the shop back together, sending trunk shows back, doing all of that kind of stuff. And then the shop is closed for 10 days through the 4th of July weekend, or the 4th of July holiday, excuse me. And then we reopen, and then we're all back in business, baby. So, we, are in, we just started our vacation. As of Saturday, uh, it was very clear by the end of Friday that all of us were, like, ready for vacation. Okay? We were all, like, you know, like, when you spend a lot of time with people <laughs> and you, like, love them, but you're, like, I've had enough? You know, we were all kind of like that. 
We're like, we love you. We love you so much. We take a bullet for you. But you go home, I go home. And that was how it was. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, we all just deserve a much needed break. Yeah. So, um, so that started Saturday and we will be closed until the 8th of July, which is a week from tomorrow, Monday. So, um, the online shop is closed. The physical shop is closed until the 8th of July. So, I'm very excited about that. We have zero plans to do literally anything. I'm going to stitch. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to binge watch television. It's going to be great. So, uh, so there's that. Um, also, for the on the StitchCon website is a list of floss tubers that attended StitchCon, whether it was Weekend A or Weekend B. It's just a com comprehensive list. Mm -hmm. On Just Keep Stitching, on our homepage on YouTube, I have created a StitchCon 2024 recap video playlist. Mm -hmm. So if you are a floss tuber and you attended StitchCon 2024 and you would like your video added to the list and you don't see it there already, right. just shoot us a message, let us know, and we'll be happy to add you. We're like constantly adding them because people are constantly putting them up. So, um, and that is, in our opinion, a really, really, really great way for you as somebody, if you are someone who wants more information about it, wants to hear about the experience, are nervous about the possibility of going because 300 people sounds like a lot, um, and you, you're nervous about this, you're nervous about that, whatever, whatever. You want more answers to questions, right. all the things. This playlist is a great way to see StitchCon through a wide variety of eyes. Yes. Um, we obviously, our lens is a little bit biased because we run the thing. So, of course, we're going to talk about it in good light because we think it's great and we really want you to come. Mm -hmm. uh, but everyone's experience is unique and different yes. and so that's a good way to hear all about that whether it was weekend a weekend b we're the first timer veteran like you know all of and everything in between it's a great way to get that sort of information so thank you to all of the floss tubers and anyone who has talked about StitchCon on your social media accounts right. it is so lovely to hear that like mission accomplished mm -hmm. is what it feels like at mm -hmm. least for me mm -hmm. um it feels like we set out to do a thing. We did the thing and it's just very, very, very fulfilling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, um, and rewarding for all mm -hmm. of our hard work. So, yeah. um, it's really hard to talk about our favorite parts of StitchCon, mm -hmm. but I think we each could probably pull one thing from each weekend. That mm -hmm. was a highlight. Sure. So what's yours? Since I've talked for eight whole minutes straight now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone wants to kill me. Um, I think that uh, my uh, concluding impressions, having been involved in this for, as Stephanie said, six stitch cons, because we didn't have one in 2020. Sure. Was, and we have had a uh, wrap-up meeting at the shop mm -hmm. with everybody on staff and uh, some volunteers as well. Um, that as someone has said in one of their, um, uh, recap videos, um, we are now, we can now say we are a well-oiled machine. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that we are a cookie cutter stitch con of the previous year? Absolutely. Not. Does that mean that we can't improve or tweak something next year? No. That means that we didn't have to have a StitchCon meeting for 2024 <laughs> yeah. until after market. Yeah, it was kind so of So think about the first six months of the year. Right. After market was when we first got together and talked about what 2024 was going to look like. Um, I think... Like as a team, you know what I mean? Obviously the invoicing right. process and all that had gone off. But. Right. Um, and it is true, even from the team perspective, things magically fall into place. Everybody knows their responsibilities. Everybody knows what everybody else is responsible for. And we just work very, very well together. 
Um, and it's amazing that that mm -hmm. is the case. And even as we've grown, we all work well One together. of the things that I started doing two or three years ago, maybe one or two years ago, was that during the opening of the uh, event, um, I ask for roll call from different locations. Um, I also ask for people to indicate how many stitch cons they've been to. Yeah. Both, both questions are very illuminating. One is that because we wipe the slate clean every single year on purpose, yep. uh, we give everybody a chance in the stitching community to experience stitch gone yeah um and that show of hands each weekend this year was i had to step back yeah, from the podium wild. i had to step back and it will always be that way yeah um also the number of international attendees yeah always floors me sure this year, we had some returnees and new people from Canada. Uh -huh. We had some returnees and new people from the UK. We actually had an attendee who came all the way from Dubai. Yeah. Um, the like Dubai is crazy. What? Yeah, <laughs> the breadth of, amazing. of reputation that we have uh, built is something that um, I'm very proud of. Yeah, we're Another very, very thing proud that of I'm it. very proud of being involved in is uh, I believe in my heart of hearts that our event is one of the most inclusive, welcoming, stitching events yeah, for that sure. happens in a given year. Um, and pride ourselves on I that. am extremely gratified to be involved in such an event. Mm -hmm. um, I think that in this current world, to have an event for basically three days, mm -hmm. three and a half days, where people leave their um, politics and their religion mm -hmm. um, and their uh, opinions opinions <laughs> at the door yeah and they walk in and the common interest is in cross stitch cross stitch it's so great um uh, it's it's like, just can't incredibly <laughs> incredibly heartwarming to yeah. see that it's and um, that's a really good point so i i'm um very proud to be involved in this uh Great memories, I would say, um, the service project, which you may have heard hints about. Yeah, I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, was bigger and better than anything we have ever experienced and, it's so fun. and was completely organic. Yeah. Completely organic. Yep. And the location of the late night. The yeah. fact that it was right in the Hyatt. So good. Uh, there were pockets of people everywhere, yeah, stitching, laughing, crazy. eating, drinking. It was... So good. It was as if we had taken over the whole convention center. Oh, well, we did. And every place we went, there were stitchers. Yeah, it was really fun. And, and everybody was like, sit with us, come join us. Can I talk to you for a second? Yeah. Can I ask you about your project? Yeah. It was incredible. It was simply incredible. Mm -hmm. um, so from, my goodness, from old, old friends, people I've stitched with and attended events with, to brand new people, young people. We had a 10-year-old. Yeah. We had a 10-year-old. I mean, she was there with her mom. Don't worry. She yeah, was not she was Yeah. She was but, fully attended to. Uh, she did the smallest exchange. She did everything the grown-ups in the room did. Yeah, it was so cool. How wonderful. I'm also gratified by the growth in the next generation of stitchers. Yep. Um, 
the variety of stitching tastes. That brag table was simply amazing both weekends. Yeah. The only things that were there both weekends were the stuff that Steph and I put there. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It switched out for B, and there was more incredible stitching to look yeah, at. Yeah, yeah. Um, I was inspired by the, the brag table as much as anything. So um, I think that we came home very, very tired. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but like so but, fulfilled. But it was a good time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever done sure. something that was really, really hard? Yeah. And when it was done, you were exhausted. Yeah. But it was... But like you do it again. You would do <laughs> it in a heartbeat. Yeah, for sure. Again. For again. sure. So those are my impressions. Without, yeah. you know, without being specific to people or places or gatherings yeah, yeah. or whatever. Sure, sure. That's kind of how I feel today. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, um... So the only thing that I wanted to speak on a little bit more was the service project. Um, and so um, Keepsakes YouTube channel did put up a sort of recap, if you will, of StitchCon, uh, I think yesterday. Um, so it's a quick watch. It's less than 10 minutes. So you can go uh, check that out. And Barbara speaks on the service project uh, in that video. But um one of my biggest takeaways this year was in the world of 2024 America that we live in. There is solace in this community that just is not found anywhere else. And I like, I just had a lot of my faith in humanity and in good people restored. Correct. So, um, because yeah. even in the stitching community, bad stuff happens, right? But after these two weekends, it was like all rainbows and unicorn parts for me. <laughs> it was just yeah. so good, yeah. you know? Yeah. So um, to every person that I had a conversation with that I talked to, whether it was for four seconds or for 40 minutes or whatever, it was absolutely wonderful. I barely took I literally took like maybe four pictures the entire time. Um, and so if I've, no, I took if I've used your pictures in a post, thank you. Um, and yeah, it was just really, really great. So we are not ignorant to the fact that there are a lot of retreats happening in the world. There's just a lot. And that's great. And we love that for you. If you live somewhere, we're getting to Cincinnati, Ohio in June is just an absolute impossible task and there's something that's closer to you we love that for you you know gatherings of stitchers in any capacity is great and we love that um but we're also going to say that we really love you to come yeah so um we think that StitchCon is sets itself apart um and it's an experience not just an event and we would really love for you to come and experience it with us. So, um, we will, of course, keep you up to date on all of the information about CitCon 2025. Um, and when the wait list goes live, when the invoices start going out, we will keep you all up to date. We promise you that. Mm -hmm. So, um, and... That pretty much is all of the things about StitchCon 2024. Right. It was really lovely and really great, and we're so happy that it happened. Yeah. So, yeah. and we're grateful to everyone <clears throat> who came. Yeah, we are. It was fantastic. Yeah. Uh, we rewarded ourselves um, with our baseball weekend. Yep. Um, the only wrinkle in a fabulous weekend was the incredible heat yeah it was wild uh it was better on sunday we went to a friday I night think game it was the best one. yeah we we went to a friday night game yeah uh drove back here to mason yeah went down for the saturday afternoon game yeah went up to eat a couple of places yeah um and then sunday we had a third game and, and we stayed at the hotel across great from seats she bought all get tickets to all three games and didn't allow me to spend a cent yeah. on anything we stayed right down on the river next door to the ballpark yeah it was awesome and 
it could not have gone smoother. Um, the Red Sox fans were well represented. Plentiful. Well represented. Yes. And they um, were everywhere. We had one brief rain delay on Sunday, but no, it wasn't even more than ten minutes. It was a, a ten minute sun shower kind of. Yeah, thing. it was great. Uh, so, um, it was a lovely, 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 we had weekend. a lovely sharing experience over my birthday, yeah. right prior to my birthday yeah. and, um, very memorable, very, very yeah, memorable. It was really so, great. And I was um, happy to do it. So, uh, that is going to wrap it up, but we want to make sure we go back and thank a couple of yes. folks that have sent us donations to, um, Buy, buy me a coffee and um they are a couple of our faithful and yes. we appreciate Absolutely. both of you so much yes thank you jan uh heidi heidi yeah and carol. carol thank you so, so much Grace. Um, thank you very very much yes um and uh that is pretty much gonna do it uh yeah that's i don't have it. anything else that i wanted to mention nope that's it. So that's it. That's um, all, baby. We're gonna be back with a much shorter video. Next yeah, week. next week. Yeah, we've gotten a lot of things uh, off our chest I, and off our chairs and everything else. Might be two and a half hours. Oh, yikes! That's fine. I that's mean, who fine. cares? I don't work tomorrow. <laughs> you know. So yeah. So, anyway, so um, we, we hope you enjoyed um, this catch-up video. Yeah. Thank you for um, being patient with us as we. Got through our very, very busy June. Yes. And um, we're looking forward to July is tomorrow. We're looking forward to new WIPCO polls and the more Olympics. More starts for 24 starts in 2024. As Steph said, the Olympics. And the next break we're going to take, we take one week off in September. Because we're going with the Crockpot Crew, but that's a while away. And then the next extended break won't be until October. Right. So we'll be here for the, for the near future, at least. Yeah. Um, and thank you, thank you, thank you yes. for um, uh, always being there for us. Um, again, we we couldn't do this without you guys. Yep, we that's couldn't very do true. It. Um, and, um, I mean, we could, but it'd be way less boring. It'd be way more boring. <laughs> more, more boring. Yeah, it'd be yeah. more boring. We love the interaction with everybody out there. Yes. And, uh, please, um. Keep it up. Keep it up. Well, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> We're not going anywhere. We'll see you next week. Yes, In the we meantime, will. I'm Pam. I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Bye. Bye.